Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at how to go from a 10 to a 5 real quick. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Entitlement. Oh, that does turn me off. Don't you know who I am? Or when they treat a worker badly because they think the workers are lower than them just because they're a customer. Screw those people. Went on a movie date with a super cute guy I was totally into and on our way home from the theater, he swings into Taco Bell. Cool, whatever. I'm too nervous to order anything, but he gets a few items for himself. We start driving again and he eats his last bite as a solid nine. Then it happens. Dude rolls down his window and chucks his burrito wrappers out. Well, yeah, that's a no-no. Oh my God, I thought, okay. I thought she was gonna be mad that he didn't even ask if she wanted anything, <laughs> you know, because I would have been mad. I would have been mad. What if I was hungry? And then he just orders for himself and then I'm about to order and he's like, that's it, that's it. I'll be mad. But yes, this would make me even more mad if he chucked a burrito wrapper out the window. <laughs> what human being am I sitting next to? Like that wouldn't even be like a 10 to a five. It would be like a 10 to a, 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 a one. I don't wanna say zero because zero just means they're literal trash, but I'll just give them a one. Arrogance. I will never forget a compliment I gave to a guy I was dating once. Said something like, I've never felt this way before. He responded to me with, that's because I'm not like the rest of them. I have a certain je ne sais quoi about me. <laughs> do, how do you say that? I'm not just saying that because I speak fluent French. How do you even say that? Oh, I did say it correct. Je ne sais quoi. What does that even mean though? A quality that cannot be described or named easily. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, this guy thinks they're so special just because, uh, okay, interesting. Even I'm getting like secondhand embarrassment for him, jeez. Lack of empathy. This is such, mm, I don't like people who don't have empathy for other people. Bad attitude, oh, that's so true. They could go from a 10 to a three real quick. Like the three is just their looks, you know? Seven is, you know, the personality and the attitude. Smell. I can be open-minded in a lot of things, but that's something I can't get over. Ooh. If someone is stinky, stinky. Yeah, that's pretty true. It does go from like a 10 to like a six, I would say. No passions or personal interests beyond buying things. What? They just like buying things? That's it? They just like shopping? Oh, <laughs> Well, wow. how they treat staff anywhere. Mm. If they're rude. How they treat animals. Oh, this is a big one for me. I mean, even if they say they don't like animals, they instantly go from like a 10 to like a three. <laughs> but I guess that's not their problem because you know, anyone can like or dislike anything, right? That's just for me personally. Being unnecessarily loud. Oh, I, well, uh, I don't know. I like it when someone is loud or like, wait, I like it when someone talks a lot or because I'm a very quiet person. So I like listening to people rather than talking. Yeah, well, I don't know what that means unnecessarily loud. Like they're just loud all the time. Like even in a the library, they don't know how to stay quiet. Is that what it is? Hygiene. That's so important. Hygiene is so important, to be honest. I feel like hygiene is just a part of who a person is, right? And you can tell whether they're like a lazy person or not, <laughs> just by hygiene. I'm an alpha male. I'm an alpha male, so everyone has to respect me. Boring personality, no sense of humor. <laughs> That's me. Um, uh, uh, hmm. I don't think I really know many boring people. I think I'm like the most boring in my group, to be honest. And I think that's what makes it work, <laughs> you know? It has to always be like someone with a really good sense of humor. And then there's just always someone like listening and laughing, okay? I'm always the one just laughing. I'm never the one making jokes, that's the thing. I'm always just laughing at jokes. I never make the jokes. I'm the laugher. <laughs> I'm just a very shy person, to be honest. I can't like open up to new people. So I can understand if people find me boring because I just don't talk. 
I just like listening. But if I'm close to a group of people, that's when I'm a bit crazy. But it's pretty hard to be close to someone nowadays. Smoking. Oh, that's a turn off for me too. I just don't like the smell. I really just don't like the smell. When they open their mouth and nothing good comes out of it. <laughs> this is some people though. This really do be some people. They just have nothing nice to say. Every single time they open their mouth, it's something stupid. It's something dumb. It's something unnecessary. They didn't have to say it, but they just had to say it. Toxic personality. Ooh. Or anyone manipulative. No good. Isn't it weird though? I feel like so many people have a toxic person in their life. But sometimes it can just be hard to push them away. Because you know, toxic people, they have like a way of like pulling you in. And then you just, sometimes you just like feel bad for them. And you just want to be there for them. And then you just feel bad if you were to leave them. You know what I mean? But they always make you feel bad. But you just feel bad for them too. <laughs> It's a weird cycle. Posting constantly on social media, particularly about insignificant things like what you ate for breakfast. <laughs> I had oatmeal for breakfast. Here it is. Yellow teeth or bad breath? Really yellow teeth. I have pretty yellow teeth. I've never whitened my teeth before. I remember someone telling me I had yellow teeth. I didn't really care though, because it's just like... Well, who cares? This is like a physical thing where you could fix, right? Which is why I don't care. But if someone commented about like something that I couldn't fix, then I'd be pretty sad. But yellow teeth, people could fix that. So I don't find that a turn off to be honest. Chewing with their mouth open. Ooh. I feel like I do this sometimes. Sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't do it. Well, I don't know if this is a common thing with like a certain ethnicity. I don't know. I think I was just taught that, you know, if you eat it like that, you just let someone know that it's very, very, very yummy. But I can understand why it's annoying because it's like loud and like mushy and like nasty to some people. So that's why I only do this when I'm alone, you know? I'm just comfortable in my own space. Sorry guys, sorry. I'm just that nasty person, I guess. If they use terms like king or queen or baby daddy or baby mama, it's a turn off. Get him, king. Get him, queen. Isn't that like a teen slang, though? I've never heard anyone my age use that. Have I? I actually don't mind this, though. I would like it if someone called me a queen, you know? <laughs> Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.